always say congratulations Worked so hard, forgot how to vacation They ain't never had the dedication People hate and say we changing, look, we made What's going on everybody? It's Josh and in this video we are going to be doing another review and it is going to be the Scarlet Witch and Vision 2 pack from the Avengers Infinity War Wave and unfortunately rest in peace Toys R Us. It is a Toys R Us exclusive. So I know there's probably multiple reviews on the internet but I just got mine in yesterday and I decided that before I even open it I want to do a review on it just to give you guys um, a closer look at it if you are interested in my opinions on this so we'll get right into it obviously here you have the front of the box already I can tell Scarlet Witch is nice um, I know it's the same body mold or whatever and that vision looks really good as well so front of the box and here on the side you have a good picture of vision nice picture of Scarlet Witch have the back of the box obviously there you guys go if you want to pause that and then here is the barcode just in case you guys want to pause and possibly see if any of your local Toys R Us has them and then top of the box is just that so obviously the box art is looking good but let's get into these figures so out of the package we are going to look at Scarlet Witch first and already I do love the face sculpt on her looks a lot better than the old Scarlet Witch unfortunately I do not have that one to compare this to um, I do know that the hair color is different but it's pretty much the same body mold so if you guys have the old the abomination wave Scarlet Witch I'm pretty sure you're familiar with uh, how everything looks but pretty much we'll just get into the articulation real quick her head does not go that far left or right and then it goes about that far up and that far down then her shoulders arms can go that far single jointed elbows as we know Hasbro does that except for the midnight proxima and then for her wrist it is on a, uh, a hinge I believe this is what it's called so it can only go that way does not go this way but this hand does so this one goes up and down but does not go side and side standard swivel rotation right there um, no ab crunch obviously we got thigh swivel double jointed knees but due to her jacket you really can't get her knees back that far but her leg does go let's get a better angle that far forward and I'd say that far back no boot swivel ankle you can see right here standard ankle goes that far up that far down and then she comes with these accessories her little uh, magic sorcery whatever it's called I don't know what the actual terminology is but they're like jelly they're like gummy so they pretty much just wrap around her hands or her arms per se doing some little sorcery here we go there's something simple and boom something like that there we go that's good enough so you can have her pose like that doing some crazy little stance but that's pretty much all she comes with just those accessories I'm digging this figure though I really really like her I'm excited for uh, Infinity War already I just watched the trailer for the second time so I'm getting hyped about that but yeah so far this figure for sure worth it and now for vision right off the bat his face sculpt looks super super good um, I am definitely digging this figure the cape to me looks like a uh, fruit roll-up the one thing I'm bummed about already is that his cape is not removable I kind of it looks like it's a uh, glued end uh, right here on the, his shoulders I wish they would give us the option to take that off like maybe just pop off his head and then just slide that off just because just a different way to pose him I guess you could say not that vision is really without his cape that much but overall um yeah the 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 detail is great on this figure um i love the textured type of feel that sometimes hasbro puts on these figures kind of gives it more of like a suit feel than anything else um but before i give you close-ups of the head sculpt let's just go through the articulation so his shoulders will go up a little higher the uh my figure is very very stiff um i can already tell so i will need to uh, run him under some hot water or possibly take a hair dryer or heater to him um, so that that's like I've always said it's typical um, but double jointed elbows so he can get there wrist very very standard up and down twisty then his ab crunch he can go this far 
forward. And let me put this shoulder down. Yeah, see, I'm already nervous to, there we go. All right, cool. And he really can't go that far back because of the cape, but that's actually not too bad. His head can go up that high and look all the way down there. Then for his legs, he can actually get some pretty good range of motion right there. Then we have thigh swivel, double jointed knees, no boot rotation, and then his ankles are that far down. And that far up, his leg can go that far. But yeah, that, about that far back with the cape. I mean, obviously, you know, with having a cape, it's going to be a little harder to get his leg up, or leg back that far, rather. Um, he doesn't come with any accessories, just comes with uh, two fisted hand sculpts, which look like this, a left and a right hand. So nothing very special with that, but overall, I absolutely love, let me see if I can get a good, yeah, that's a good shot right there. So face sculpt looks very, very good. The detail on his head and his eyes look really, really good as well. Very good. Paint apps, I'm loving the face print technology they're using. But honestly, this figure looks very, very good. Um, I, I'm thinking about bringing my MCU shelf back to life. Um, I did store them away. Um, but with these new figures coming out, especially this two-pack, um, I'm definitely thinking about doing that again. So let's get some figures for some comparisons. Okay, so here we go with the lineup. Obviously, left to right, we have Vision, Scarlet Witch, uh, Civil War, Captain America, and then the Avengers, Thor. Um, I don't really know, to be honest, the scaling and who should be taller than what from other reviews and from what people have said. I think Vision is a little shorter than he should be because Thor kind of overtowers him. Um, and I don't know how tall Cap technically is in real life. But there is a good overview in case you guys were wondering what they would scale like on your MCU shelf. So let me go over the figures one more time and then we will end this video. And here we go guys. I'm just going to let this rotate for you so you can just kind of get a good overview of the front and back of the figures just in case I missed anything. Um, but overall I want to thank you guys so much for the support. Um, I know it's not my typical videos because I am a primarily a toy hunting channel. But I just wanted to give a crack at doing these figure reviews because there are some things that I do like and do not like about other figures. Um, and I kind of just want to give my opinion, which is overall why I'm doing these. So thank you so much for the support. You guys are the freaking best. Um, if you guys want to get any Marvel Legends, any pre-orders down, out of the way, link down in the description below, which is Big Bad Toy Store. Um, that link greatly helps me out. I am not sponsored or endorsed by them. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to check it out, click the link. It's free to do. It's fun. Browse around. I mean, who doesn't like looking at toys? Overall, I want you guys to let me know what did you think about this uh, two-pack? Did you get it? Were you able to secure it online? Did you find it in stores? And what do you guys think about the Toys R Us closing? Obviously, it's very sad um, and it's a bummer. But I just want to get your guys' opinion and thoughts on it. But I, uh, yeah, that's pretty much going to do it for this video. It was probably short and sweet. Um, not a whole lot to talk about with the figures since you really can't pose them in any crazy way, um, in my opinion. I don't, outside of just the flight stand. But yeah, I'm going to cut it off. You guys are the flipping best. I love you so much. Um, if you like the video, obviously give it a like. If you are new, hit the subscribe button. Toy hunts are mainly live streams will be uh, resuming on Saturdays at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And yeah, I love you guys. I will see you in the next video. And as always, may the figs be with you.